This was a mid 1970s Zenith Sidekick, made in Taiwan by Zenith of Taiwan, I guess. They made a whole bunch of different versions of this. This is the Sidekick version. It has a, a denim covering, like blue jeans, I guess you could say. These fancy little squirrely dweebler on the side. And I brought this out. I'm going to clean it, try and clean it up. It's pretty filthy. Uh, it's a hybrid set. It has maybe four tubes in it, four or five tubes. Yeah, it's kind of in poor condition. But I've seen a, uh, I've seen these in colors like red, green, plastic. There was a 1776 version, which I guess would have come out in 1976. This one's in pretty poor condition. I thought I had two of these. Made in Taiwan by Zenith Taiwan Corporation, a subsidy of Zenith Radio Corporation. Let's open it up. I'm sure it works. Not a lot that can go wrong with these. In fact, the tubes were glued in with silicone, kind of suggesting that they were lifetime service, whatever that means. Turn power off before replacing semiconductors. That sounds like a wager to me. So, four tubes. Audio output, vertical output, horizontal oscillator, and horizontal damper. And you can see the tube is, in fact, glued into place. See the blob of silicone there? And the same thing with the audio output tube. See how it's glued in? Uh, the other ones do not appear to be that. That's interesting. So what is this? A 33G... Oh, there's another blob of silicone. 33GY7. All original tubes. There's the flyback. Bark point cigar xylophone. It's a zenith tube. I don't know if these tubes ever go bad. The IF strip. I bet this just works. Looks like it's got one transistor there in a socket. The IF, audio IF, which is that little can back there behind the uh, audio output tube, that probably doesn't buzz. This thing probably just works. Let's power it up. This is just a show and tell video. I should probably use the dim bulb tester and reform, but you know what? They have been reformed. Now I believe what they do is they have the tubes wired in series with a diode. So it's like a 60 volt string with a half wave rectification diode. So that essentially using one diode cuts a line voltage in half. And there it is. Probably want to take a look at the underneath. It's a 12B, 12CB12ZX chassis. 12CB12ZX. Here's looking underneath at the Taiwanese hand wired chassis. Kind of your typical Zenith. Actually, it looks absolutely perfect, as would be expected by from a Zenith. So this really just needs a good cleaning, and it's ready to go. 
not much of a video here the filter is staying cold so I'm gonna assume it's good it's like we might have a date code of 7403 there so this is 1974 these pop up quite often like I say they come in a bunch of different little chassis variations some different sizes but they're pretty much all the same thing different kind of gimmicky cabinets where they show a 1x2 for the horror, for the high voltage rectifier and it is not 6 ln 38 he 7 17 jz8 12 fx5 for the sound they probably didn't want to go solid state with the sound because they wanted the delay you know you don't want the sound to come on at the time you wouldn't have wanted the sound to come on instantly and then the picture much later this might be an instant on set too let me let me see let me turn the turn it off and see if they remain glowing and yes it appears it is an instant on set you can see the vertical output tube there is still a little bit heated get in right there I'm gonna turn it on it is instant on let's see how instant it is it is instant the second you flick the switch there's an image there and it's locked so I'm gonna just spray the controls on this and and uh, clean up the cabinet we don't need a video on that so anyway that's a show-and-tell of a 1974 Zenith sidekick basically crappy plastic Taiwanese television with Zenith quality and denim exterior panels.